Hi, in this video, we are going to assign VMware IO automation role to the AD users. Let's take an example. We don't have a right role. What kind of a user might experience? In here, if someone So if someone who doesn't have access pro proper privilege, he might get this particular error that you couldn't able to authenticate. So now in this lab, we are going to assign the role to the enterprise group, then create, a, create and assign the custom role. Then we, we will verify the organization role. Then we'll verify the VMware or automation assembler service ro role. So these are the four subtasks which we are going to perform in the user assign assignment role lab. We'll change from this to system domain. We'll log in with the system. On the left panel, we have a identity and access manager click on enterprise group and assign roles and group which we have added earlier in workspace one this group will add and click on serv service access so select on service assembler with the role of cloud assembly Administrator Organization role has to be an organization owner Click Now we'll assign role To fin ca Users We'll select organization member. Add services. And here, instead of administrator, we'll use users. Assign. In here, we can see the active users. His organization owner has these roles. This person belongs to both user and uh, admin group. Just to specify, when we choose organization member or organization owner, What's the difference? The organization owner can access the service identity and access management and branding section of the console. And however, the organization member, he can only access the service section of the console, not the identity access and branding. So the one who is supposed to assign the role to the ED, that person should be added as a data owner. But the one who has to just create and deploy the template, he has to be added as an organization member. So in this way, we can classify what person has to be an organization owner or organization member. Now, this is what we have used the already created roles. Now we can create the customized role as well. To create the customized role, click on assign role. Search for fin CS admin. In here, we'll select as a member. In here, We'll keep it as an administrator. We'll 
select the administrator and we'll change to view in here course frame click assign click on services this is a screen which when you first sign in it shows we can click continue then we can click on custom roles we can click on new provide the custom role custom template user role to enable vra template deployment only then scroll down for deployment deploy custom temp cloud template we created our custom role click on assign then select on group fin cs means we'll add this one from here we can log out sign out click here log in with the different next now we'll use the fin cs admin the to whom we have assigned the custom role see we can see only the assembly and the code stream once we click on assembly so this is how the custom permission has been for uh, deploying the template has been created and assigned to this particular group fin cs added admins now click on this we'll sign out now we'll verify the organization role we'll log into fin ca not cs So we gave them only cloud assembly not the cloud stream that's why he could be able to see all these things now we'll click on logout now instead of that i log into the with the fin ca user user one we can't see uh branding identity and access management nothing is listed over here so this is the difference between the two different consoles uh, one with the organization member and other one with the organization owner so i'll just click log in now now we'll verify the service roles i'll just log in in ca admin bmvo see we are able to see all those identity access management branding and services if we were not a owner and instead of we will be our organization's ma uh, member we could have only seen the services now just to validate the service role
we can see the resources design extensively tenant management as well now in here i have logged in finca admin now i log in into finca user click on cloud assembly see we could not able to see the couple of tabs like uh, multi-tenancy and uh, tensibility so we couldn't able to see we can see only the resource designing and infrastructure so click on infrastructure so we can see the resources like a kubernetes projects so these are difference between the so this is our view difference for the person with the different service roles the one with the cloud assembly user and one with the cloud ad, uh, assembly administrator so in user we did not have a much of the control as compared to what we have in, with the administrator thank you